Hey, my name is Austin Davis. I am the worship pastor at First Free Methodist Church in Spokane, Washington. I also play electric guitar and bass in a local instrumental band called Eyes Like Time Machines. I wanted to do a quick rig rundown because uh, I've kind of got some unique needs when it comes to my board. I usually play acoustic guitar uh, at church and uh, only play electric guitar with my band. Uh, but I wanted to be able to run both on one board just to keep things simple. Um, so I'm going to show you what I do, maybe give you a few ideas if uh, you have similar needs, um, and uh, maybe you can combine everything onto one board, uh, simplify a little bit. So here's my pedal board. It's by Gator. Um, it's got some uh, pretty cool features. Uh, came with a, a nice bag, and the handle um, on the back here is actually uh, the handle for the bag also, so it pokes through a little opening. Um, so you're always carrying it by the actual handle of the board, which is kind of cool. It makes it feel really solid, really sturdy while you're carrying it. I'm not going to have a, a handle tear or break or anything like that. Um, so we'll dive right into uh, what I'm running. Um, this pedal here is what makes it possible for me to run acoustic and electric um, on one pedal board. Uh, so as you can see, it has two instrument inputs um, and it combines them into one output after you run it through your pedals, uh, and for me it ends with my volume, uh, as you can see it comes back around and into the input above on the right, then it splits it into two, uh, two outputs. Uh, amp 1 I send to my Hot Rod Deluxe uh, when I'm playing electric, and Amp 2 goes over here to my uh, DI Plus, and that's what I run my acoustic through. Um, and that Carl Martin route box is a great little pedal. I saw one recently online, uh, kind of a copy, um, for about half the price. So um, wish I had stuck it out a little bit longer and saved a little bit of money. But uh, it works really well. Notice a little bit of a pop whenever uh, whenever I switch, but um, not anything too, uh, too bothersome. From there, go into my tuner. Uh, I run this in bypass because I like to be able to control my volume with my volume pedal rather than just the mute switch uh, basically uh, on the tuner. Out of there uh, go into a BBE Green Screamer. Uh, great pedal, nice uh, nice overdrive sounds. Um, picked this up uh, new I think for about 50 bucks. Uh, Guitar Center had some sale or a coupon or something um, and a really really nice Tube Screamer clone. Um, and from there, I go into this Delta Lab Stereo Chorus. Um, don't use it a whole lot, but every once, every once in a while when I want to thicken up my sound a little bit, maybe uh, kind of emulate a 12-string uh, with my acoustic, um, I'll turn that on. Again, it's a fairly cheap pedal, but it's not something that is integral to you know my tone. Um, you can get some really, really nice sounds out of it. Uh, I think I, it was about 50 bucks new also. Uh, from there going into a carbon copy analog delay um, that I will leave on most of the time um, unless I'm using my digital delay then I'll turn it off but even on acoustic um, just gives it a really nice texture uh, so been using that on acoustic a lot too uh, from there straight into the uh, DD5 digital delay uh, using that a lot for quarter note and uh, dotted eighth note delays uh, don't really use any of the other uh, time functions only with the tap tempo. Um, it's uh, a few years old. I picked it up used. I think I still paid about a hundred bucks for it. Um, but uh, but it was a heck of a deal. It came with the uh, with the tap tempo also. Uh, from there, go into my Jam Man solo. Um, use this a lot just for practice. Um, you know, getting ideas down onto something so I don't forget. Uh, recently, I've used it a few times uh, live, um, building some um, kind of organ-like sounds that I want to upload a video of eventually. Basically, you uh, record a uh, silent, like, two-second loop, and then using the volume knob on your guitar, um, do some swells. And so as it records, the uh, different volume levels gives it this really nice kind of droning, uh, organ-like sound. Um, from there into the uh, Ernie Ball uh, volume pedal uh, Junior. Um, 
really like this. It's just simple. It's one of those things that just works. Um, and that's what you want is something that's reliable. It's going to work every time. Uh, I don't experience any uh, tone suck out of it. Um, or if I do, it's so minuscule that I don't even notice. Um, so again, from there, it goes over to the uh, Carl Martin route box and then splits the signal. One goes to the, the Hot Rod Deluxe. The other goes to this DI+. Plus. Um, came out a little bit after the um, the other similar pedal that's the industry standard by LR Bags. Uh, decided to go with this because I just wanted to do something different. It is kind of a space hog, but um, it's got some neat features. If you take a look, you can flip it in and out of phase. Um, it's got separate level control for XLR in line um, and also has a true effects loop. As you can see, I'm not using it, but uh, it's a uh, it's a pretty neat option for someone who might use that. Uh, last thing I wanted to point out was my homemade pick box. A friend of mine tried to get me to go into business making these. It's just an Altoids box, um, but uh, put, it, put some Velcro on the back and uh, use some tape to uh, add racing stripes. So uh, that's a quick overview of my board. I'm going to flip it over and uh, show you what I got going on underneath. All right, so as you can see, it's a little bit of a mess. Um, Basically, what I ended up doing was um, buying this uh, splitter. Um, and what it was doing is running this dinky little um, output. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, running this tiny little output uh, out of there. Um, and then you have this power supply um, that was running across the stage. It was just goofy. Um, so I took... Uh, took the wires and uh, cut them, cut some sections out, spliced them together, uh, put a little bit of uh, uh, heat shrink on it. Um, only one time has my power uh, not come on. The board hasn't powered up because this little connector here was loose. Um, so as you can see, it's a little bit of a, a goofy design choice, uh, but it was a, a pretty easy fix. Spent a, a couple of hours just putting it all uh the way I wanted it, and uh, it's been working uh, pretty much flawlessly since. So there you go. As you can see, uh, simplicity, reliability are really important to me, um, and also not breaking the bank. Um, now someday I hope to add a, a Line 6 Verbzilla, uh, maybe a, um, a reasonably priced tremolo, um, and uh, I wish I had uh, found the the Carl Martin copy uh, sooner before I'd spent my money already. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, share your comments, questions below. Um, I'm happy to answer them. I'm no expert, but uh, I'm really pleased with uh, the tone I get. I'm going to be uh, sharing a demo here soon. Um, going to be putting that together and get it uploaded as soon as I can. So, um, so yeah, comments, questions, that'd be awesome. I love to share ideas. Uh, so I'll see you around.